Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Engage this altar as you wake up daily. Do so early, while still lying on your bed, maybe sitting down or kneeling down to receive Turning Point. There may be a prophetic faith action we will be asked to carry out that early morning before going out. After turning point ministration, then pray more on your own for as long as you can. Pray in tongue and pray also in your understanding. Use God's words, Bible, to speak over your day. Take spiritual authority over your atmosphere. Never allow situation and circumstances to force things on you. Welcome also to Saturday, day 21 in October 2023. Please open your hand and heart to receive and be responding with Amen, I receive it. Today, God's presence will rest on you. God will shock you with different divine interventions for you and your family. I don't know who this person is. You have been obscure for too long. Your person, your career, your business, your platform, your network, your ministry, your glory has not been allowed to shine to the optimum. If you are the one I'm describing by the word of knowledge, put your hand on your head for these prayers. I prophesy, come out of obscurity. Come out from the back to be seen, to be appreciated, and to be patronized. Come out to the limelight. Come to visibility in business, in career, your products, your platforms, your goods, your services, your ministry. And for marriage, you shall no longer be hidden. Can you get your family picture where you are? Let's do this prophetic action today. I have an urge in my spirit to pray for families this morning. Get your own family pictures out or write their names out. If you don't have it there, you cannot do that immediately now. Receive the prayers. But when you are able to get the pictures or write the names, raise them up and replay this tape. Now, hold or raise the family picture. If you are not yet married, then your parents and your siblings, that's your family. Take their picture and let me bless it. May God's bliss and power and glory rest on your entire family. If there is any member of the family, given the rest of you concerned, maybe sickly or delayed, misbehaving, afflicted in any way, I pray for that person. May God's healing and restoration hand come on him or her. It will be an asset to the family, never a liability anymore. Your family shall not know ridicule or shame or insult or poverty anymore. No one in your family will die prematurely. I prophesy on everyone's family today to be successful, to blossom, and to flourish. All causes and evil covenants from the ancestors plaguing that family shall no longer hold your family down. From generation to generation, your family shall thrive in Jesus' name. Now listen, if you can sow a battle seed, a good battle seed, connected to that prayer for your family, do so. It will work wonders for your extended family and also the immediate family. Then October 21, born people, your prayers, be blessed. Your bad day is blessed. Welcome to a new year of huge success of prosperity, and of power. You will live long. You will live well in Jesus' name. Listeners, we are still in the first week of teachings and counseling through questions and life situations that members are sending in to this platform for counseling and for prayers. Send yours, if you have any, to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That is the only line that will bring your questions and your testimonies to me for treatment. First one today, as a born-again Christian, can I walk in a gym where they play all kinds of worldly music and ladies dress seductively? Wow, I have answered similar questions here before. Do not walk or go to places, locations, or atmosphere that gives you a bad conscience or troubles your mind. Look for another job. Once you feel offended or you are not comfortable, there, leave. And it is not only about the gym, anywhere at all where you feel uncomfortable. Next, I am sorry, sir. I want to remarry 
after the death of my wife since November 2021, but I have not seen any. Wow. Be comforted over the death of your late wife. Well, prayerfully seek for another woman. Talk to your pastor on this if you have any. Are there children from your late wife remarrying? In remarrying, children left behind are also very important. If they are still young, the next woman coming should be matured enough to be and act like a mother to them. Widows and widowers are free to remarry. That is the word of God. Next, good evening, Daddy, and my TPGF family. Our pastor, he mentioned the name of the church, but I'm not going to mention the name of the church on air. Our pastor always said on the pulpit that when people offend him, he keeps to himself, avoid the person, and hand him or her over to God without letting the person know, which I have observed him to do. My question is, is this biblical as a believer? More anointing, sir. Wow. No, no, no. Your pastor is not right on this matter. And I'm highly pained that a pastor can go over the pulpit to preach this to his congregation. Read Matthew 18, verses 15 to 17, where Jesus Christ himself taught us what to do when we feel offended by some people. He said, call the person, go to him or her alone. You are the one to go to him or her, and then discuss and settle the matter. This, his attitude is directly opposite what Jesus taught the church. Listeners, please pray for your pastors, that God will help them to teach and live right as examples to the people they pastor. Next, good evening, Daddy. I'm a TPGF. I live in a tiled house. I always prefer kneeling down while praying. But after such prayers, my knees will be aching and paining me. Daddy, please advise me. Is it advisable to put pillows or wrapper or slippers under my knees while praying? Is it a sin or a sign of weakness or a sign of disrespect to God Almighty? More unction to function, Daddy. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not at all. Not a sign of weakness or disrespect to God. It is the wisest thing to do. Some of us even have a small rug we have cut out or a pillow we use so that we can pray more comfortably and longer while praying before God. So it is not a sin, disrespect to God, or a sign of weakness. Next, good morning, TPGF. Is it compulsory to give tight from the little pension one is collecting as a pensioner? Wow, tight is 10% of all our income, whether big or small. Tight is not a punishment or God depriving us of our money. Instead, it is for an open heaven of blessings, shielding us away from devourers and bringing God into all we do. But you use the word, is it compulsory? My answer to that is no. God will not compel us to do anything for him. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7 says, Not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. So listeners, don't let us see paying tight or sowing seed as overbearing or a burden. Let's do so cheerfully and happily, thanking God Almighty for giving us such an opportunity to even earn money and give as a part of the extension of his kingdom. So our blessings will be much more that way. Next, good morning, Pastor. Is it right for the man of the house to withhold the family upkeep money because there's an issue between husband and wife. He also refused to eat food. How about the children? Must they also suffer also? And this man is a man of God. Wow. Is he there? Is the man of God there? Let him hear me on this matter. Sir, my fellow colleague, man of God, uh -uh. read First Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. If a man provide not for his house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. No man should shirk his responsibility to his family by providing for his household or punish his family just because there's an issue between daddy and mommy. If there are issues, and there will always be, call her, discuss it, and say to it, may God Almighty 
help men and women of God. Many of us, we preach one thing on the pulpit, but we live a totally different life when we get home with our family. God, please have mercy. All pastors, wives, please play this for your husband to listen. Pastors, wives, and wives of leaders in the church, let them hear this. Please we broadcast this to all on your contact. Do so daily. Let God use every one of us to spread the TPGF message to all the people we have connection with. Get your communion food ready. I shall soon pray over the communion. You will also pray, then you will eat and drink. Once again today, I want to sincerely thank TPGF members and Tony Point listeners for trusting me with your personal intimate and private issues for counseling here. By God's grace, I will not betray your trust and thereby I will do all the best I can, God helping me, to give you frank, practical, non-sentimental, biblical, matured, and true to life teaching and counsel. Let all of us be learning and applying all these truths to our lives and things. They will make us better people. I also want to deeply appreciate and I pray intentionally for all partners, those that are life partners and partnering with us on this commission, for all titles, personal and, and corporate titles, for all seed sowers, the battle seed, the thanksgiving seed, the monthly seed, the vows, and the connection to 668, and to those giving for us to help the family with the 15-year-old girl. They are coming in, we are working on them. Although we do not mention people's names on air, but I do. I take your name before God Almighty on my prayer altar, calling God and calling your name and praying for you. God will keep multiplying and increasing you a thousandfold. You shall live long and live well. Heaven at last for all of us, where we will receive our eternal reward. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I love you. Take your communion and let me pray. I bless this communion as you eat and drink. May it become healing agents in your body, in any area where you are trusting God. May the power of God move there. Communion is for dominion. Exercise dominion over all affairs over you. You will live long. You will live well. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly really blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed.